hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Today we have some Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade facts for you. Number one, the most popular holiday parade in America, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, has been a New York tradition since 1924. This parade attracts over 3.5 million people to the streets of New York City and almost 50 million DVD viewers all over the nation. The parade began on Christmas Day of 1924 and attracted over 250,000 people. The parade was later changed to fall on Thanksgiving. The first giant balloon in the parade was Felix the Cat in 1927. In 1928, after the parade, they did not have a plan to deflate the massive balloon, so they let it go into the sky and it soon popped. In 1932, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade had its first national radio broadcast. Two years later, Disney introduced a Mickey Mouse balloon into the parade lineup. The parade was canceled from 1942 to 1944 due to World War II. More than 2 million people went to the revival of the parade in 1945, and it has continued to grow ever since. Today, over 8,000 people are in the parade, and over 4,000 people plan and prepare for the event. This year, the character balloons were the Pillsbury Doughboy, Angry Birds Red, Ice Age of Scat and his Acorn, the Mighty Red Martian Power Ranger, Sinclair Oil Dinosaur, Hello Kitty, Ronald McDonald, and DreamWorks Trolls, along with SpongeBob SquarePants, Pikachu, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Elf on the Shelf, and Charlie Brown. Some of the new balloons for this year were Super Wings Jet, Frozen's Olaf, Paw Patrol's Chase, The Grinch Herald, The Baseball Player, and Aflac Duck. Recently, some of our students took a field trip to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And now here's the interview with Mr. Bidet. This is our vice principal, Mr. Badaki, and he went on a field trip with us today to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So did you have fun? I had a blast watching grades uh, 6 through 12 at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for their gifted field trip that happens annually. So as, as an educator, did you think that this program was worth it? Well, definitely. Uh, having the kids from New Brighton uh, be able to travel to the Hall of Fame, uh, that wouldn't be a normal um, trip for any of them and to learn basically how sound and noise are different and uh, the science behind rock and roll or music was, was outstanding. Um, and is it, so it's worth missing a day of school? Definitely. Um, the kids get an experience that can't happen in the, the classroom, uh, whether it be, like I said, learning about the sound of rock and roll, um, the history uh, behind rock and roll, and all the different artifacts that you know that, that scan um, the early 1900s to today, um, and being able to go there in one day and come back um, was definitely worth you know one day out of school. So, what was your favorite part of this that you think favorite thing you saw, or favorite part of the presentation we saw? Um, all the different guitars um, and the the background of you know, who played them, and um, I think the educational component that they provided. Uh, it was basically a 50-minute class uh, that integrated the science of sound. Um, it was really a physics lesson um, and was able to bring it down to, you know, sixth grade level and all the way up to 12th grade. And um, they did a great job. Um, and, and, you know, thank you to Ms. Twiddell for organizing this every year. Okay. And is there anything that you think that we could take from it that we can apply to our everyday life that we could have learned at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Um, I think the history uh, that's there, um, like I said, giving you the roots of uh, rock and roll all the way to modern day music, um, being able to learn about uh, some artists and some bands that you know are out of the ordinary, um, are down the old beaten path, and um, you know, being able to witness uh, the evolution of music, and uh, definitely the science behind it today was, was one of the most um, influential and uh, recognizable aspects of it. And would you come again next year with us? If they'll have me, I'll continue to go, yes. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a great day.